What's going on guys? Today, we're gonna have a conversation. Your feelings are not facts. Strong cocaine, number three was having the conversation with someone in the comment section. And let me go ahead and just say this. If you feel that I'm dumping on you when I push my thesis, starting a successful, profitable business is the fastest way to get rich in America. That is my thesis. Proof of concept, my life. So, Whenever I speak to my thesis, a lot of people feel that I am dumping on them. Let me tell you what is happening. Truth is penetrating that noggin. And that truth, that injection of that strong cocaine, injection of that truth is very, very uncomfortable. Because a lot of people, they'll come to this channel and they'll hear me talk and they'll like, why is he dumping on me? Because you feel that your thesis, whatever that may be, is comparable to my thesis, yet you have no damn results. None. This video was brought to you by B-School for Hustlers. Today's message is enroll in intellectual property school today. One of the things I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start dropping some training in there sooner than later but you can still get the 65% off discount until the end of the month. Because I know that, because this is what's gonna happen, even though I'm gonna say this, a lot of people, the night before, I'm gonna make 50, 60 cents, may, may, may even make $100,000 before the deadline <laughs> expires, because people be waiting. Stop waiting. Your future, if you live long enough, Three years from now is coming. Are those three years in the future going to be better than these three years now? If you take action, you start working on something, you start building something, the answer is yes, it will be. But if you keep waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. So go ahead and enroll in the intellectual property course, school course. I'm going to start probably next week after I go ahead and tune up these podcast episodes, start dropping some preliminary information because the first course, well, first thing is you need to go home economics. You need to enroll in home economics because this will prepare you to make more money in the future. Because the way you are right now, you start making more money you could be one of those people making 250, 300, 400, $500,000 a year living paycheck to paycheck. If you take home economics now, that will prevent that. So go below, links below in the first comment in the description of the video and enroll in home economics tonight. Stop waiting. So let me go ahead and articulate my thesis 100%. And I'm going to give you the background of my thesis. I grew up in a little town called Adamsville, Alabama. I grew up in a house with no running water. I think running water was in the kitchen. We did not have an indoor bathroom until I was about 10 or 11. That was my situation. I matriculated from that to a house with five bathrooms, 5,000 square feet on two acres. So that's where I started in life and that's where I'm at now. Currently, I live in a high rise in Buckhead, Atlanta and I have three cars in the garage. So this is proof positive of my thesis. I'm not just gonna come here and say, here's my thesis and not provide any proof. And as you can look through my YouTube videos over the year, you can see it. my life has been getting better and better and better because of a business. Hands down, starting a successful, profitable business 
It's the fastest way to get rich in America. All right, so let's go ahead and address the conversation. There are many people, because I push my thesis, his, everything's down and his business is starting to slip. And I, like I said, I've been working on him and I said, you need to focus on your business. You need to focus on your business. Because out of all of my friends, this guy who has a business, who's investing, is the poorest of all my friends. I have, now let's talk about my friends. How did I meet these guys? Going to conferences. If you wanna make wealthy friends, you need to go to conferences, events, dinners, and volunteer. One of my wealthiest friends, I met his wife volunteering for Tool Bank, and we, 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 we had a really good day, and she invited us all over to her house, right? So I'm going to the house, and I'm like, it's just gates. And then I was like, hey, I'm here. Oh, okay, and they open up the gates, drive up this long winding driveway, and it's like, bam, this is how they live it. So be sure to go to conventions, be sure to fly first class and engage with whoever sitting next to you. And that's how you're gonna meet these kind of people. You're not gonna meet them just sitting at home. And this guy is the poorest of all my associates. He's the poorest. And this is why I'm like, cause I remember one day he told me he had a really good month and he made like $200,000. Then he invested $100,000. And I was like, why do you want to do that? Why do you want to take money from your business to invest in something that's going to give you a lower return? And I've been working on it. I've been working on it. And now he is losing his mind. We had the conversation. And I was like, look. If you will ignore investing for about a year and really double down and focus on your business, you would do better. I'm just telling you this as a friend because you're so focused on investments and looking at your charts and looking at your portfolio and looking at your brokerage account that you're distracted and your business is starting to collapse because you all over here. And the wealthiest friend I have is someone that owns, I think he owns 20 apartment complexes worth 400 million, maybe 500 million. And he's an older gentleman. And that's all he did. He did not invest in the stock market. Whenever I mention crypto, he's like, I don't understand it. My richest friend worth with about 400, 500 million, owns 20. That's all he did. He did not invest over here. He did not. That's all he did. And he probably 20. This guy probably brings in eight, nine million a month. And that's all he did. He just invested. In apartment complexes at first he was having to take out loans he got to the point where able he was to fund his own deals he's about 70 something years old my wealthiest friend he focused on one thing focus 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 he he, had, he doesn't have a stock portfolio and look, let's go ahead and dispel this myth all rich people some of the richest people in the world don't have a stock portfolio because they have a business so I was having this conversation with this yard bird because this is the thing, like with crypto, I always ask them how much money they make, how much money you make. And this guy's like, I did $7,000. Not to be dismissive, if you are a hard working entrepreneur and your business makes 7,000 a month, I'm not trying to be dismissive, but 7,000 to me, where I'm at in my entrepreneur journey is chunk change. It's chump change. And he, he was like, I have a business with three employees and there's these three ways to make money and I'm tired of you dumping. Cause see, I know this from experience. If he was to focus on his business, he would make more money. And this is where 
people's feelings get in the way of facts. Alex Becker put out a post talking about why he was going to buy more crypto. And he said something that was very honest. He said the crypto market was going to go down much further. He said, I want to emphasize it's going to go down much further, but I'm buying as much crypto as I can. Now, Alex, the owner of Hydros, has a cash flowing business. So if his investments go to nothing, Alex is still going to be good because he has a cash flowing business. You've seen this YouTube commercials. Hydros, we will guarantee to increase your ad spend. Graham Stephan, Invest, has a cash flowing business. Meet Kevin, Invest, has a cash flowing business. Andre Jack, Invest, has a cash flow business. Financial education has a cash flowing business. You see what I'm saying? All of these guys who are telling you to invest actually have businesses which enable them to invest a substantial amount of money in their investments. Uh, the other day I did a live stream and someone asked me a question. You're always talking about YouTubers making their money from YouTube. And he asked me, is that your case? Because he doesn't know my history. And I showed him how much money I made from YouTube. This year from YouTube, I've made $34,000 from this channel and $9,000 from my secondary channel and a few hundred dollars from the other channels because I don't post there that much. So I asked him, how can I live how I live off of $43,000? That wouldn't even pay my rent. And, you know, I was like, you know, and then he got he got a little moist talking about because I asked him have you ever seen a hundred thousand he said I saw that at 20. Let me go ahead and say something gentlemen if you come at me with you're a business owner and you say stuff in the comments I am going to assume that you're lying because you want to win a straw argument. I'm going to assume until I have substantial evidence where you can send to Glendon at savagefinance.org I believe you're full of shit. Because I've had numerous individuals come on the YouTube channel and lie. So unless you, and this is something else, I'll ask for receipts. And you know what? They don't want to send no receipts. I've literally had people, I am not telling you how much money I make. Even, but bragging up in the comments that they're, they use these subjective terms. I'm doing well. I had significant gains. I pulled out. What are the hard numbers? What are the facts? And this fool, because I told him I was talking about my classification of friends. All my friends who focus on their business are wealthier than my few friends who have a business and who invest. I mean, staggering more wealthy. I've seen it because here's the thing. And this is one of the reasons I sold my crypto. Because when crypto was zooming, I was checking every day. I was distracted. And I was like, you know what? When it reached 19,000, because honestly, I thought I was going to go to 25. I thought I was going to leave some money on the table. I was like, you know what? Just sell it and be done with it. Because it's a distraction. You're spending too much time in the crypto forums and stuff. So I sold it. And then I went back to focusing on my business. So if you are a business owner, and you have proof positive that your business makes you money faster than your investments. Why the fuck are you putting a whole bunch of money in your investments? I'm speaking to you because if you were an analytical person, if you were, if you had a business that did, let's say, 75,000 a month, right? That's almost a million a year. And then you were putting, let's say, twenty-five thousand a month in your SEP, your self-employment pension. That makes sense. That makes sense. But if you, because over a long period of time, you know, twenty-five thousand a month is um, 
300,000 a year. That's a lot of money. So if you're doing it like that, that would make sense. But if you make $75,000 a month and you're putting 60,000 in your investments, uh, I'm gonna call you stupid. And this morning I have been looking and listening to all of the people who were entrepreneurs talking about how much money they have lost because they're trying to play the passive income game. Strong cocaine number three. Um, I have enough cash. If I deployed my cash into a dividend investment stock, I could get 300, maybe 400,000 a year in passive income with what I'm sitting on. Um, for me, that ain't enough. For me, that ain't enough. I'm like, see, here, here's more of my thesis. In 2017, I started playing the holding company game. And that has revealed so much to me. I have it in my capacity to earn in one year what I'm sitting on in the bank. Let me say that again. I have the capacity to earn in one year what I'm sitting on in the bank. And by golly, I'm going to do it. I am not going to be distracted by investments. And I'm going to tell you something. If I did not, if I, I stopped working, I have enough money in the bank, cash money in the bank, where I could live for decades just off that cash at a very high level. So with the opportunity to make that chunk of cash in one year, if I'm willing to put forth effort, why not? Because if I do that, or should I say when I do that, the game changes. The game changes because that chunk of cash would keep me living just the way that I'm living right now. But you know what? I, I want to I wanna move up on the hog a little bit. I want to have what they call fat fire. Um, I might keep this place and buy a house. Oh, no. Oh, no. I haven't quite decided yet. But if you are a business owner, do not become distracted by investing. And let me be really clear about that. If you are a business owner and you're taking a small percentage of your money and throwing it into your self-employment pension, that makes sense. That is wise. Your dollar cost averaging. That makes sense. But if you are trying to save the bulk of your money to accelerate your passive income situation, when you have a business that's making you more money than you would make with your investments, you are a dumbass. And I saw a lot of dumbasses because I'm just sitting there like, why are all these people trying to invest? And this is strong cocaine number three. People are lazy. You cannot convince me otherwise. I don't want to hear this. People are lazy. They don't want to do the work. They don't want to show up. They don't want to do the things that will make them tremendously wealthy. They don't want to do it. There's this social media induced dream of laying on the beach. Let me tell you what I'm getting ready to do. And I, you call it bragging. I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Today, I signed the paperwork for my new drop top Porsche. It's gonna be the first brand new car because I'm gonna be the first one to put miles on it that I've ever bought, that, that I've bought since the BMW when I was at Business Environments. It's gonna be my first new car. And recently I spent $17,000 on the bedroom set. And then I got me some new Rimoir R-I-W-O luggage. It was like four grand. I'm addicted to living at that level. 
And I know that if I was to take my money and throw it in investments, um, it would be, let's see, let's say safely dividend stocks, 350,000 a year, which will come up to about 27,000 per month with a 20% capital gains tax, which would be 20% 5,000, so that would be $22,000 per month, which I don't live on right now. My burn rate is about $8,000 per month, but going in the future, my burn rate is going to dramatically sweep up because I'm probably going to keep this place and I'm probably going to buy a house and I'm going to pay cash. So my burn rate's gonna probably go up to $20,000, $25,000 per month, which means that taking my chunk of money and putting it in investments will not provide me the life that I want to live. However, if I buckle down, I work really hard, and I make what I have in the bank right now in one year, that would give me enough capital where I could put my money in investments and get 700 to a million a year, which would fund the lifestyle that I wanna lead. See, many of you are investing too early before you have enough of a cash position to make a significant investment. Because like, you invest 300 bucks, Okay, if that makes you feel good, knock yourself out. But you're not gonna have any meaningful wealth with 300 bucks invested in a month. You're not gonna even have any meaningful wealth with $1,000 invested, unless you invest $1,000 for 40 years. So knowing that as an entrepreneur, that I have the capacity to make a significant staggering amount of money, and this is the thing. When I make what I got in the bank in one year, I will announce what I had in the bank. I'll announce it on social media. But here's the thing, I do that in one year, guess what? I can do it again. If I have four years, which I'm 55 now, and I have four years like that, the time I'm 50, 60, oh my God. And one of the reasons my burn rate is going up is I'm probably gonna get serious with someone I'm probably going to form a family, may have some more children, and my burn rate, I, I don't want to be, like, I'm keeping the Porsche. Like, I get married, and she gets pregnant, I'm keeping the Porsche, and I'll just buy us a family Range Rover or something. The Porsche ain't going nowhere because I got married and had a kid. So, once again, if you're a business owner, and you're spending a tremendous amount of time investing, you're hustling backwards. You're hustling backwards. And it don't make no sense because you have proof positive right before your eyes that your business makes you more money than investments. Yeah, you're like, I need to be invest. Like I said, my wealthiest friend doesn't have a stock portfolio. He owns 20 apartment complexes, eight million a month. He good. He's Gucci, he Gucci. So until you develop a significant position of cash to invest, uh, I think you're wasting your time and you're ignoring the thesis that's right before your eyes, which to me is stupid because like, like literally, I've been listening to all these guys who, who are entrepreneurs and they're whining about how much money, like my money in the bank, I looked at it this morning. It's still there. It didn't go down. Still there. Now, if I was in the stock market, oh my God, if I invested all that money in the stock market, I would be down millions right now and be losing my mind. So once again, this is my thesis. A small, profitable business is a better investment than Bitcoin, than the stock market, or virtually any investment. Elon Musk, the richest man in the world, he wouldn't have got there with investing. It wouldn't have happened. So ask yourself, 
Who makes the best investors? The best business people, because they have a significant, and like, like I said, if you have three, four, five million, and you don't want to live the lifestyle that I want to live, you can invest money and get passive income of $100,000, $150,000 for life. If that's cool enough for you, like I said, they ain't enough for me. I don't fucking limit myself. Like I said, in a few years, my burn rate's gonna be 20, 30,000 a month. Right now it's eight, cause it's just me, but you know, my girl, we were doing some stuff, I bought her some luggage, and I'm gonna spoil the shit out of my girlfriend. She's gonna have gold bracelets, she's gonna have diamonds, she's gonna be spoiled. She's gonna be treated so well that Ain't no other dick get that get, get that pussy wet because she's gonna be treated so well. I'm gonna spoil the shit out of my girl. And see, that's why a lot of y'all don't have nobody because you don't wanna do shit for anybody. Strong cocaine, number three.